This is a problem that uh, says urea is widely used in fertilizers and plastics, quite soluble in water. And if you dissolve 9 grams of urea in 10 milliliters of water, what is the vapor pressure of the solution at 24 degrees? And we can assume the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter. Okay, so here we have a solute and a solvent and we're asking about the vapor pressure of that solution. And when it says vapor pressure of the solution, it's uh, talking about the vapor pressure um, exerted by the solvent under the solution conditions. Okay, so um, we have a change in vapor pressure that uh, is gonna be happening then when we add the urea to the water and so we're going to be using Raoult's law, which says that um, the pressure of the uh, the solvent under, uh, or rather over a solution, is equal to the mole fraction of the solvent times the pressure of the pure solvent. That's what the knot means. That is uh, the vapor pressure of the pure solvent, and then um, it's going to be reduced by uh, however much uh, less solvent you have in the solution. All right. So if it's pure solvent, you know the mole fraction would be 1, and you'd have 1 times the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. But if it's 50% solvent by the mole fraction, um, then it'll be half the vapor pressure. Okay, so that's the equation we're going to use. And uh, what we have is that 9 grams of urea are uh, dissolved in 10 milliliters of water. Okay, so what we need to find is the mole fraction of the solvent. Okay, so that is we need to find how many moles of water, that's the solvent, are in the uh, the total number of moles in this solution, which is moles of urea uh, plus moles of water. Okay, so um, this part isn't too uh, difficult to find. We can convert the grams to moles, which uh, we have the, the formula, and I've kind of writ written it out in a structural formula, but uh, we have two nitrogen, one oxygen, one carbon, and four hydrogen. So we can find the moles of um, urea from the nine grams. I'll go ahead and start that. But we can see that uh, we can have, you know, we have 10.0 grams of H2O, because it's one gram per milliliter. We can convert both of those to moles to find the mole fraction. So that's what we're going to start out with. 9.0 grams of urea. And there are how many grams per mole? Okay, 16.00, 12.01, and then uh, here we have 14.01 um, times 2. So that's going to be uh, 28.02. And then we have 1.008 times 4. So that's going to be 4. Point, uh, what, 0, 3, 2. Okay. We add those up and we'll have, um, what is that going to be now? Uh, 40, 50, 60 about 60.06, uh, okay? So there is the molar mass of the urea. And um, that's what we're gonna use here. So it's 60.062 uh, uh, grams per mole. And now we'll get the moles of urea. We'll do the same thing here. 10.0, um, I'll go ahead and write, write this out. Milliliters of water 
one point, uh, sorry, one point zero zero grams to one milliliter. Okay, and um, and so we'll have grams there, and the molar mass for water, sixteen point zero zero plus two point uh, zero one six and we end up with 18.016 that's grams per mole All right so what we get here is the moles of urea is uh, 9.0 divided by 60.062 and we get 0 0.1498 moles of urea and the 10 milliliters of water we divide by 18.016 and we get um, 0.556 okay or I'll say uh, 0.555 is about what it ends up being. Um, it actually rounds down uh, to 0.5551. Okay. So here we have moles of water, moles of uh, urea, and so we can find the mole fraction. Okay. We just take these uh, 0 0.5551 divided by the total between those two, uh, which is going to be what point, um, well, I'll just write them here and calculate it. Okay, what do we get from this? But um, 0.5551 divided by 0.5551 plus 0.1498 and we get 0.7875 okay so that is uh, my mole fraction here so the only thing I need to find the vapor pressure of the uh, solution or the uh, pressure exerted by the solvent under the solution conditions, I just lack the vapor pressure of the solvent. Of course, our solvent is water. And uh, so what I need to do to find that is look it up in a table. Okay. So... In the textbook, there is an appendix that has um, that information uh, for us. And here we have um, the vapor pressure of water at various temperatures. The temperature we're interested in is 24 degrees. And so we're looking at this value for the vapor pressure, which is 22.4 torr. Okay, so 22.4 uh, torr, where am I at here, is my vapor pressure here. Okay, of course, torr is the same as millimeters of mercury. But we can go ahead and express the result in that same um, unit. Okay, so 22.4 times 0.7875, and what we end up with is 17.64. So that is the vapor pressure of the, um, the solvent over the solution.